Thank you, thank you, thank you, my fellow Americans. It is I, Richard Coleman, the President of the United States, and I come to you today with some exciting news. So bear with me as I share my screen to let you know what we're going to be talking about on today. Alrighty. Thank you for your patience. And we'll begin our presentation now. So ladies and gentlemen, as I just alluded to, I am the second African American president of the United States of America and I come to you today with some exciting news. So Again, as I indicated earlier, I am the second black president of the United States of America. And again, today I come to you with some exciting news. We are part of the greatest country in the world, but our greatness is due in large part to policies and legislations that have been that promoted oppression, slavery, genocide, blatant discrimination against many of our citizens, mainly persons of color, women, the disabled, the LGBTI community. And this continues to this day and it's resulted in atrocious income disparities and promotes the haves and the have nots in this country. It is time for this to change. So I offer to you the Economic Justice Act of 2022. This particular legislation is designed to eliminate the wealth gap and to redistribute funds to those with the greatest needs that are in our marginalized and oppressed minority communities. This legislation will result in government payments of $250,000 annually to every minority in the country to share in the American dream. I'm excited about that. It is my belief that the reallocation of these funds will rid us of many of our current social ills and is long overdue. How are we going to do this, you might ask? How are you going to make this whole thing work? Well, glad you asked. So here's how we're going to pay for it. All of the Fortune 500 companies located in the United States and other large industries will be required to pay an additional 5% of their 5% tax on their gross income for the next 50 years. This money will be placed in a national trust fund and disbursements to those who meet the eligibility requirement. This process will go on for a period of about 50 years and at the end of 50 years corporations will be released from this debt with our gratitude. Eligibility requirements. So this will be effective for all persons over the age of 18 who are women, persons of color, members of the LGBTI community, indigenous or persons with disabilities will be eligible to receive annual payments. Persons who already exceed over a million dollars a year in terms of their annual income will not qualify for this particular annual payment. All recipients, all the persons who receive this particular annual payment will have to pay a 10% tax to the National Trust Fund to fund this particular fund for all future recipients. Also to make sure that our our society doesn't implode and people start to live off of their laurels. We want to make sure that everybody is gainfully employed. So one of the conditions also is that people must be gainfully employed to prevent disruption in our workforce unless you are certified disabled. We're also going to throw in some other measures to make sure that things stay on track and that is strict price control measures will be enacted to ensure that the prices of services and goods remain at the same level to prevent price gouging severe price increases, and businesses who violate these control measures will suffer severe financial sanctions and possibly lose their ability to continue on in their particular business. So in conclusion, it is my belief to my fellow Americans that this legislation will go a long way in evening the playing field for all Americans, but I need your help. I understand that you are some of the the brightest minds at the College of St. Scholastica and you were a wonderful policy analyst. So I need you to take a close look at this particular policy and give me your in-depth analysis and feedback and make recommendations based on those particular findings to let us know whether we should move forward with this particular legislation or whether there's some things that we should do differently. So I thank you for your time. So God bless you and let me know what you think and God bless the United States of America. Thank you for your time.